Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to The Correct Views. Sam I.V. reporting for The Media Speaks. Alright guys, this is going to be a two-part video. Now, for those of you on high def, that isn't going to mean anything to you at all because I'm just going to render this as two videos. For those of you on low def, uh, on The Media Speaks, um, I'm going to be posting this as two parts. So you're going to hear me introduce the show like it just started right after I do the first segment because I'm doing the entire thing live uh, for the Media Speaks. It just makes life a lot easier for searches and whatnot. I'm going to get to all the news that I put in my Facebook. I have news coming up in the U.S. Coast Guard, uh, activists. I got uh, a shocking Syria news, Fukushima news, all kinds of stuff, Voyager news, uh, you name it, I've got it. Um, I want to get into the vertigo thing first, and I'm going to go ahead and make the video that I wish other people had made when I was diagnosed with vertigo. And it's the reason that I'm making it as a separate video, or separate segment, depending on which version you're watching. The reason for that is, when I was diagnosed with this, I had nothing but paranoia and question marks. There was nothing anywhere to be found at all. I want to say also before I begin that it does not apply to uh, a vertigo that is not caused by an inner ear infection or some kind of an ear problem like that. Uh, it does not apply to uh, those of you with head injuries, concussions. This is a vertigo video that is made specifically for people who have been told by their doctor that they do in fact have inner ear vertigo. For those of you that don't know what it is, I'll give it to you in a nutshell. Quickly, very quickly, I woke up, came downstairs, was getting ready to go to get dressed before I could go to work, and I couldn't stand up. I couldn't move. I started throwing up. The room was spinning uncontrollably whether I sat down, laid down, stood up, sat still, closed my no Nothing worked, okay? Nothing. I went to the hospital and uh, they left me in the waiting room for over six hours. And uh, they had pretty much ruled out a stroke and MS and things like that. I did have a CAT scan. Uh, I had a chest x-ray. I did blood work. They checked for stroke. Um, all of that was ruled out, and they told me I had inner ear vertigo. Then I probably got horror stories from everybody else that had vertigo about how their life is different now. They can't do this. They can't do that. Time to sit home and because, wh become wh Whittler's damn mother. And it became something that I was very, very, very concerned about. I'm a person that likes mosh pits and roller coasters and insanity. And I'm making this video so that if you have been diagnosed with inner ear vertigo, I'm the, probably the only person you're going to find online that has anything posted about it at all because I couldn't find any when I had it. Um, it's just a real short video to give you a real quick list of do's and don'ts while you're getting better and to let you know that you will, in fact, get totally better. Now, I have the slightest bit of a dull ache in my ear that's come and gone. On a scale of 1 to 10, its pain is a 0.5. It's very, very small. But um, it's noticeable. Uh, this happened to me or, uh, three weeks ago today. Uh, three weeks and a day because it's after midnight. Um, I'm, I'm three weeks, less than a month. In less than a month, I took my antibiotics, and uh, you're going to want to take uh, some kind of acidophilus with that, or you're going to end up with a yeast infection of the mouth, also known as thrush. Ladies, you will end up with a yeast infection. Take your antibiotics, unless you like bread, I plan on baking bread. Um, make sure that you take the anti-dizia, the anti anti-nausea medicine they'll give you is fine. But I took very few of mine, because I wanted to know when the vertigo was getting better. And I'm happy to say that I went to see Cyclone 9, a wicked good band by the way, that singer, that's not an effect. I went to see Cyclone 9, uh, shout out to their bassist who was very kind to us, and uh, I jumped in the mosh pit, and I was fine. I hit some beer, beer that the singer accidentally stopped his mosh pit with by zinging it at the crowd, bad idea. Um, Felt fine. Um, I went to Cedar Point, and as I tell you the story, I'm going to go ahead and give this to all of you, and you will very likely be very, very happy that I did. If I can get it to play, I'm not even going to play. Um, I hate this computer. If anybody would like to go ahead and, by any ways, uh, donate to the view that I can get a computer that doesn't suck, that'd be great. Um, guys, this is right here. In a minute, I, I had now. If you want to sneak. 
a, a camera onto a roller coaster, by the way. You stick it up your sleeve and use your bracelets to hold it down. Hit record while you're in line, right before you go on, right before they can see you. Make sure you pull it uh, to, to videotape and then uh, enjoy. That's how I filmed this. It's an awful video. I just had the idea because I want to show you, Vertigo people, that you can and will, Craig Christel, zoom in on that, you can and will be able to do these things again. Take your medicine, do the intelligent things, and don't panic. Uh, keep your vitamin C level high because a lot of this is caused by inner ear infections. And I was able to beat this very, very quickly with almost no pain. As you can see, that is me on the gatekeeper. Look up the gatekeeper if you don't believe me. It's a beast of a ride. Uh, friends, you will in fact uh, be able once again to ride your favorite coasters and do all those things that you thought you weren't going to be able to do. Just take your medicine uh, pretty much the way they give it to you. Don't uh, decide that you know you don't really want to take your antibiotics. Stick to your schedule. Here is what I said when it let out, and I will use this to close the video. Thank God. That's the coaster right there, friends. That is the coaster that I went on. That's the coaster that I got to enjoy. So when someone tells you that you have vertigo, again, this video was made specifically to be able to say, hey, wait a minute, you know what, your life isn't over, you're going to be just fine. Uh, as you can see, one beast of a coaster there, once it zips off the air, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let it go by here. Uh, all right, you can zip back on me here, I'll, I'll pull this, the computer down so that you can uh, line this up. I'm talking to my behind the scenes queen, Christelle, here. Um, again, my, that it, is, should, it should line up because it's connected to the same. Uh, all right, that is my... Uh, this is the monster. That is my, uh, listen. Don't panic. This is not a bragging video, by the way. It's a don't panic when you get a diagnosis of inner ear vertigo video. Not a bragging video. Yes. So there you go, friends. Take your medicine and don't panic. Your life is not over. It is not going to be awful and dire and doom. Vertigo is not necessarily forever, but do yourself a favor. Like I said, I, I might have rushed it a little. That might be something you don't want to do since I did have a mild, mild, dull ache. I've also heard that it can come back on you again, even when it is gone, which mine is 95% gone, I would say. Um, but it is not caused by roller coasters. People that have had that happen uh, got vertigo uh, on a coaster. It happened immediately when they got off, and it was not caused by the coaster. It can be caused by uh, it's turning your head a certain direction while you're moving on anything really fast. Uh, it's best not to go ahead and headbang on a roller coaster, for those of you with headphones. Um, but no, people that, uh, that, that, ride, that, that run the rides, they run them every day. They ride them every day. There are people, uh, shout out to uh, Mean Streak Henry, that rack up 10,000 rides on a roller coaster, and I'm not exaggerating, he just did. Um, roller coasters don't cause them. It's caused by an inner ear infection, and it is not something that lasts forever unless you're one of the really unlucky people that have vertigo for another reason. I hope this is somewhat helpful to anyone watching this. If you haven't got vertigo, you probably just slept through this video. Don't worry, all the news and sanity that you want is next. You are listening to the correct views. Sam I.B. reporting for The Media Speaks. Look up the work of Kyra Court, D. Like, and myself. And if you're watching this video, share it. Share it, because there's going to be people really, really worried, and I think this video would do them a lot of good. Good night, friends. God bless.